Welcome back everyone to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my recipe for keto granola. The ingredients that I'm using are some coconut flakes, a bunch of different nuts, I just picked my favorite ones, some flax seed, I have hemp seeds, butter and coconut oil, one egg white, some salt, some vanilla stevia drops, and some cinnamon and cardamom just for some extra like flavors. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and let's go ahead and get started with the actual recipe. I'm going to be using one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of coconut oil and I'm going to melt this in a cast iron pan just to get it melted that way I can easily mix everything together. You don't have to use a cast iron pan but I'm just using it because I can easily throw it into the oven and that's what I'll be doing. Then I'm taking my nuts since I'm just using a lot of whole nuts I'm going to chop them up really quickly. You can leave them whole if you'd like. I wanted them in smaller pieces you know that way I can use it for my husband's like parfaits that he likes to eat. I also have some sliced almonds but I'm really just using a mixture of macadamia nuts, pecans, walnuts, almonds. I think there's a few cashews in there which you need to be careful with eating cashews on a keto diet because they're a little bit higher in carbs but I'm not worried about the little bit that's in there. So I'm just taking about one and a half to two cups of nuts, and then I'm going to add one half a cup of coconut flakes. So you can use like the shredded coconut. I like the little like bigger chunks of these coconut flakes. I get these at Trader Joe's and they are unsweetened, which is very important. You don't wanna have those extra sugars. Then I'm doing one quarter cup of ground flaxseed meal which is just the regular brown one. You could use golden if you wanna use that. I'm doing one quarter cup of hemp seeds. And then I'm adding about maybe an eighth a teaspoon of salt, you know, a few pinches just to get that little saltiness. Some cinnamon and some cardamom. I just like to sprinkle it just for a little extra flavor. Then I'm using my liquid vanilla stevia. I just got this and so I'm not exactly sure about the drops. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 drops. The first time I made the granola, I didn't think it was sweet enough, so I'm adding a little bit more this time. But you can just do it to taste, especially if you're using different sweeteners. You might need more or less. I gave it a good stir and now I'm adding one egg white. Adding the egg white adds extra protein, but it also helps bind the granola together. That way it kind of will form like some chunks and get like crispy after we bake it. So I'm putting it in the oven now. I kind of flattened it out, but I did pull it out maybe once or twice to give it a good stir. And I put this in the oven for about 25 minutes. Then I let it cool off and I just keep it in a jar and we either snack on it or use it as toppings. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.